is Paul Viar. Welcome to the channel. We are here today to do virtual reality news. I took few days off to kind of figure out how to do this channel moving forward, but also to enjoy my brand new PC. It's awesome. Uh, and since we kind of moved in already to PC side of things with PSVR 2 adapter releasing soon, a lot of games and a lot of stuff what I'm going to talk about is actually coming to all the platforms. So I think the only right thing is to cover everything. And with that out of the way, that's how we're gonna do it from now on. Let's go! We're gonna begin from PSVR 2 because uh, Sony is running sale. 200 quid off or dollars if you're living down there on the other side of the globe. Um, very good sale and it translates that the price point is still important to people. And I think anything under 400 dollars uh, is probably when people will spend money on VR. Uh, and Sony can see it because the sales apparently surge over 2000% and also Sony was like one of the best items, Sony PSVR 2, on Amazon outselling everything else. So VR, you know, if priced light, can do quite good as success of Quest 2 showed, which outsold Xbox Series X and shit. Anyway, moving on to the next story. Meta says that they will release a gameplay of highly anticipated Batman Arkham Shadow live on August 20th which is at Gamecom, Gamescom and also it's happening to be opening night which takes place live from Gamescom so everyone be watching it and uh, what a great place to see it. They say in experience Gotham City like never before in this immersive full length entry in Arkham franchise Batman Arkham Shadow is coming fall 2024 and this is MetaQuest 3 exclusive. At the moment I've got MetaQuest 2 I might uh, buy MetaQuest 3, but I'm thinking because mostly I'm gonna use it for PC, might buy the slim version. Speaking of slim version, of course I mean that cheaper model MetaQuest 3 S or whatever. I'm following it and the rumors saying that it will appear at MetaConnect conference in September 2024. This is, let's say, not as expensive kind of trimmed down version of Quest 3, which I'd be totally fine with. And uh, apparently the price tag, well, the more credible sources saying it's gonna be 299, the more, let's say, hyped slash clickbaity sources saying it's gonna be an incredible 199 pound. But I say 299, it's what Quest 2 cost and uh, for the price, it was great value for money. So that uh, I would definitely swap my Quest 2 for Quest 3. Moving on to another story, the PlayStation VR 2 version of Compound, a roguelike game that I'm looking forward to just because of this uh, nostalgic 90s, uh, middle 90s art style. I really like it, want to experience it in VR. This will be with us on PSVR 2 on August the 13th. Already out on PC and already got good reviews and great reception. Okay, and now let's talk a bit about Onward, uh, or maybe its sequel, or maybe uh, putting it better and wording it better, its spiritual successor. Onward was a very well-loved game on PC VR, people absolutely adored it. Uh, with the Quest 2 release, kind of it's got doomed down and many people got like, what the fuck just happened to our game? Uh, I don't know, I would love to hear stories about it one day, maybe, but anyway. The developers of Onward, kind of some of them, the important ones maybe, I don't know, moved on to make their uh, own game, a spiritual successor to Onward, maybe not constrained by anything. I spoke about this game before, let's talk about it again, because a lot of you uh, really like this uh, announcement and it's received a great uh, reception uh, after the reveal. This is tier one direct action and the developers just announced that this game is hitting Kickstarter as they need a bit of cash to bring their vision of awesome next level VR tactical shooter to life. So, with that out of the way, uh, let me quickly read what this game is all about. Tier 1 direct action inspired by acclaimed titles like Arma and Rainbow Six Siege and envisioned as the spiritual successor to Onward, Tier 1 Direct Action aims to be the definite title for players seeking a modern, true-to-life tactical shooter. The development team at Neo Room Studios includes over 20 VR industry veterans, including 8 key members who played significant roles 
in developing the long time the long time staple onward. The team's combined experience experience extend to other notable VR titles such as Zenith, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Black Talk Hoops, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. I fucking loved flight love the flight simulator. Uh, this is the VR game probably I spent the most time in. With the added expertise of military veterans to the team, Tier 1 direct action promises, unparalleled realism and thrilling core gameplay. I managed to read it, I don't know why. When I read I sound extra foreign, it's just something happens to me when I read. It's very strange, but I say fuck it, let's just go for it. So that's Tier 1, looking great. Uh, hitting Kickstarter, awesome stuff, the trailer looking great. So very, very, very nice. Now coming back to Meta again, we're gonna talk about uh, Meta releasing brand new immersive realistic audio in VR. They introducing acoustic ray, acoustic ray tracing in the latest audio software development kit. So the meaning and the message of this is simple. I spoke not long ago about Sony and its 3D audio, how awesome it is and everything. Um, it can be achieved on PC as well, uh, but what Meta is saying, this is a very resource heavy and kind of too much of a burden for VR platforms, saying that they still want solution like that. That's why they've done this acoustic ray tracing, which is pretty cool. So let me read about it, time to sound extra foreign again. To help you achieve accurate audio simulation, we've launched new acoustic ray tracing, that's for Unity and Unreal, capabilities as a part of the audio software development kit. Those capabilities give you the tools to increase realism, deepen engagement, anchor players in virtual worlds, and bridge the gap between remote multiplayer participants by giving the immersion that they occupy the same physical space. Typically, acoustics are implemented by developers with bespoke ad hoc systems that use game logic to drive audio systems parameters. They can often achieve basic occlusion and obstruction and apply different reverb presets for different areas. But this manual approach tend to be labor intensive, complicated and brittle. While some solutions exist on the market to achieve highly accurate levels of acoustic simulations, those are intended for PC and console development and are often too resource intensive to be suitable for mobile VR hardware. Now you can leverage the new acoustic ray tracing features in audio software development kit to easily create realistic acoustics for virtual environments in Unity and Unreal. Simply load the virtual environment in the game editor, tag the relevant geometry and follow a set of simple steps to automatically generate an accurate acoustic model. Now sounds pretty good, pretty advanced and very nice for the developers. I'm sure it's gonna come very handy in uh, this upcoming Batman game uh, for Quest. Um, awesome stuff, so yeah, sounds good. And in the background you can see the latest trailer that Survios published not so long ago. This is for, of course, Alien Rogue Inclusion. The trailer is called Zula Hendrix and it reveals this brand new character. They say, introducing Zula Hendrix, fearless ex-colonial marine turned ultimate xenomorph hunter. Her goal is clear, root out the xenomorph infestation and take down the corrupt. Are you ready to join her cause? Wishlist Alien Rogue Inclusion and you can already re uh, wishlist it as well on Steam, which was just lately added. The game will be with us this holiday season. Holiday season starts, I don't know, f fucking I gonna see Christmas ads probably in September already, you know, adverts and stuff in shops for Christmas. That's how crazy things got. But anyway, holiday season, usually it's like kind of October time till Christmas. Anyway, the trailer also shows how awesome this game looks graphically. Everything is rendered nicely. I, I point out maybe not as much dynamic lightning as you see in other uh, alien games for uh, flat games. Pff, flat. We spit up flat games here. Big spits. Uh, but still looking great. So looking forward to it. Okay, that's it for today's news. Let me know what you think to this format. I think I covered the most interesting stories here. And of course, stay tuned very soon. I'll be reviewing the P PSVR 2 to PC adapter. I'm gonna be plugging into my new PC. I'm playing it now and you know what? 
flight simulator on this baby looks really good. Anyway, thanks for watching, shout out to the patrons. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe. And for now, that's it. Bye 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 bye.